Hello, my name is Sean Haas, and I am an instructional media developer at San Diego State University's Instructional Technology Services. And I am going to show you how to perform learning analytics within Blackboard. So, within your Blackboard course, to get started, go to Evaluation from the Course Management Tools and click on Course Reports. So, within Course Reports, you'll see several different types of reports with descriptions of the reports. What we recommend most is the overall summary of user activity, the fourth item down from the top. And this report displays user activity for all users of the course, as well as activity dates, times, and days of the week. So when I run this activity by clicking the down arrow and then run, Blackboard provides me with some parameters to choose from. So to see the information graphically, you can choose PDF. You can also choose HTML, Excel, or Word. So if you're going to run analysis of the data, I recommend choosing Excel. Otherwise, I recommend choosing PDF. From there, you can choose a start date. So in this case, I'd like to see back to Monday, September 26th. And you can either select one individual user or all users by clicking Command A on a Mac or Control A on a PC. And then hit Submit. Once you click Submit, the process can take anywhere from a few minutes up to half an hour. For the sake of time, I sped this clip up, but this report took about 11 minutes to run. So now that my overall summary of user activity report is complete, I can click Download Report and I can view the results of the report. So I can see in aggregate what the students were clicking on during that period of time. So you can see most of it is the announcements, followed by individual content items, followed by grade center, retention center, contacts, and my grades. And you can go into more detail and see exactly how many hits each item had. So announcements you can see had 1,100 hits or clicks, and that represents 52.93% of our overall activity. You can also see the number of clicks per date represented on this bar graph, and you can see individual students when they clicked within each week and how many total clicks within each week. So to recap, you can see both individual student clicks and student activity in aggregate. So that is how to run the overall summary of user activity from the evaluation course reports. If you have any questions regarding this process, or if you would like to schedule a time to meet to discuss course reports in general, please contact me at shaws at mail.scsu.edu or call me here on campus at 594-1348. Thank you.